I cannot get over this 2019 911 call from Fort Smith, Arkansas, where the former dispatcher, Donna Renault, took a 22 minute call from Debbie Stevens in which her car had been washed away in floodwaters. And ultimately at the end of the call, uh, she lost her life. And the number one dispatcher was just incredibly horrible to her on the call. Have you guys heard of it? If you haven't heard the call, you can look it up on any social media platform and you'll be able to find the audio. Again, the full thing is 22 minutes and it is really gut-wrenching. As a former 911 dispatcher, I've heard a lot of calls. I've sat in trainings about calls that went wrong. I've had my own horrible calls, but this call by far takes the cake as the most traumatic call that I have ever listened to. And when I thought that it couldn't get any worse, listen to what I found. I had not heard this before. According to the FSPD report, Stevens called her mother-in-law before calling 911 to come and get her, but she didn't understand why she couldn't. Stevens' cousin, Christina Rabbit, has gone on record and told police that Stevens had health issues early in life that caused her to have the maturity level of a teenager. We now know that Donna had put in her two weeks notice and that was her last call that she took on her last shift that she was to work. And this is why I believe that dispatchers should be removed from console immediately when they put in their two weeks notice or any public servant, in my opinion. When Donna gave her exit interview, which was after she took that call, she said that her issue was that she wasn't happy with her relationship with her supervisors. And when asked, what did you like most about your job? She said, the ability to help people in time of an emergency. I found the 49 page investigative report where the agency did an internal review of the incident and it is linked in my bio and we're going to talk about that on another video because it's repulsive.